Hello there guys, I'm George Brind. Welcome to a new animated special in my Bodger and Badger series. Now, you may be wondering why, after my last special um, Badger's Mushy Remembrances and uh, Bodger and Badger the movie, the final chapter, I'm producing another one. Well, we can all agree that there was a, another part of the story to tell, which I would have felt sad not telling. In addition, this special brings a change of animation style. Plaster scene models developed for a school project. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this special titled Bodger's Child. Hello again, my mushy mates. It's me again, Badger. Oh, Mousy, it's great to see you again, my cheesy chums. And I'm Shiver. It's great to see you again, too, my dummy gumbos. Why, well, yeah. China? Did you just say my doggy dumbos? Yeah, an appropriate and alliterated name for the people who admire me. No, it's not, because you're calling them dumbos. Anyway, things have changed since we saw you last. If you'd watched Bodger and Badger the movie, you'll be pleased to know that Mrs. Jubel and Mrs. Melly's rings, which I accidentally swallowed, are now out of my tummy. Thank goodness. Don't ask how. You really don't want to know. Simon and Millie had married each other back in October of 2014. Shortly afterwards, the day afterwards as a matter of fact, Millie fell pregnant and a few months later, Simon and Millie had their new arrival, a baby boy. His name is Max Pierce Bodger, and I have to say, it's incredibly wonderful to have him, but at times I felt neglected because of the amount of care they'd given him. Exactly what happens in your family when you're young, isn't it? Bodger! Mousy! China! Oh, hello Simon. Hello Simon! Hello Simon! Hi there, Badger. Mousy. China. How's Max? Oh, he's fine, Badger. I'm sorry that me and Millie have barely had the time to do things with you guys at the moment. But that's what comes in looking after a baby boy or baby girl. Oh, I see. I think I know the feeling. I was like that. Back in the days when I was in my old Mousy family, before I started living in rabbit holes, Whenever I had a baby brother or sister, I sometimes felt neglected because of my parents getting sidetracked taking care of them. I bet everyone in your family was always called Mousy. Why, yes. <laughs> That's really funny <laughs> and a little confusing. How could you tell which one was you? Anyway, we can't stay chatting for too long because I've got to go and feed little Max. Are you going to feed him some mashed potato? Oh no. I'm going to make sure that he's not addicted to mashed potato like you are. We've got one mashed potato thrower already, and we certainly don't want another one, despite the fact that I don't mind getting covered in it anymore. Yeah, but and that's final. I'm not going to argue about it. That's what he thinks. What did you just say to the audience? Nothing. Good. Oh, and another thing. I don't want to see you even try and make Max into being addicted to mashed potato yourselves. Oh yeah, we'll see about that, won't we guys? Yeah. Yeah. Hi there, little Max. I hear that my friend Simon has been taking care of you. Well, I thought it would be quite a good potatoes idea to do so myself. You don't mind, do you? Nah, of course you don't. Anyway, here is my friend, Mousy. 
And here is my doggy friend, China. Hello. Hello. You're pleased to see them, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. Anyway, I've got something for you. This is mashed potato. Well, this isn't. The mashed potato is inside this packet, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. And we're going to show you how to make it. Aren't we, guys? We certainly are. Aren't we, Mercy? We certainly are, yeah. Now, what you need is a little bowl here and a little spoon. Then, you have to pour the mashed potato in, like this. <coughs> Don't worry, you'll get your go. There are plenty more packets of mashed potato where those came from. Now, give it a good stir. Like this. And then eat it. Okay, now it's time for you to try it. Although, would you like to know how to throw it? Yeah, of course you would. I thought as much. <laughs> and... Ho <laughs> ho! Bullseye! Right, you have a go. <laughs> well, you really enjoyed that, didn't you, Max? Yeah, of course you did. Of course you did. Now then... Do you want to be entertained by Mercy or China? Yeah, of course you do. This is Mousy. Hello, Max. I'm Mousy. Like Badger loves mashed potato, I love cheese. I hope you like cheese as well. And here it is. Yeah. Ah, you enjoyed that too, didn't you? Yes, you did. Thank you, Mousy. Now, we're going to have to be going soon because we don't want to keep you up all night. So finally, this is China. He hasn't got anything to offer you. Well, he could give you a bone, but I doubt a bone would be good for you to eat. Nah, nah. But you could strike his fur. Strike my fur? No, I give me. Well, Max, I hope you've enjoyed our company, but now we're. <laughs> Toro potatoes. So I shall bid you good night. <laughs> Morning there, Max. Come on, Max. It's time to get up. Daddy's right. We've got a good day ahead of us. Huh? Hold on. What's all this? <coughs> Mashed potato! His first words. Oh no. How did he... Badger! Hello, Simon. It's nice to have another person who loves mashed potato. Don't you think? Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I suppose so, Badger. Let's hope he doesn't do the old mashed potato phone like you do. Yeah. Ha 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 